Welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming future videos. I went on Pinterest looking for ideas and inspiration and I came across these beautiful mirror reflection artwork that you may create on the ceiling in any room in your home. I would like to share with you how I created mine in 3D. If you would like to see what I created, just continue watching. To start, I'll be using cardboard and I will cut a 14 inch circle. Next, I'll apply a generous amount of my strongest adhesive glue. Next, I'll be using this round mirror reflective tray that I purchased from Dollar Tree and I will apply the cutout on the back side of the tray and I'll pull weight on it and let it dry overnight. The tray is a light plastic so I didn't want to use any hot glue. Next, I'll be using two mirror reflective bowls that I purchased from Dollar Tree and I will glue both of them together using my strongest adhesive and hot glue. I will have a complete list of all items used in the description bar below. I also added hot glue in between for extra hold. Next, I'll apply a generous amount of my strongest adhesive glue around the edges of one of the bowls and I will let dry overnight. Next, I'll be using postal board and I'll be wiping off any lint that remains. Next, I'll apply mirror reflective paper on one side. And it's very easy to use, just peel and apply. And I smoothed it out by using an spatula. And this is spatula you may purchase at Dollar Tree. Next, I made two different templates in the shape of a leaf and I traced and cut out 30 of the larger size and 10 of the smaller. Next, I took the ruler and one of the leaves and I started running the ruler on the back side of the leaf from the top to the bottom gently until I have a nice curve. Once my tray was dry, I started positioning the larger side leaves around the edges of the tray 
and then I use the smaller size leaves in the center. And I apply them by using a low temperature glue gun that I purchased from Michaels. Don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms for upcoming DIYs and giveaways. Before I continue gluing the leaves, I'll add two more bows on each side and I'll glue them together using my strongest adhesive and hot glue. I will continue with the large leaves and then the smaller size. I also added 8 larger size leaves on the outer sides just to give it a wider effect. Next I'll be using 3 remote control LED touch lights and I'll start by removing the backs. Next, I'll be using my X-Acto knife and painter's tape and I'll cover up the lighting area and then I'll trim the rest with my X-Acto knife. Once I was done, I applied two coats of metallic silver spray paint. Next, I'll be applying double strips of mini mosaic tiles around the edges of the bowls and I will have these linked below. Next, I'll be using three mirror reflective napkin holders that I already had on hand that I purchased from Dollar Tree and I'll be using my strongest adhesive and hot glue to glue them in the center of each bowl. I use the napkin holders as a base to apply all three touch lights by using my strongest adhesive and hot glue. I 
I use command strips to hang it from the ceiling. And here is the finished look. I really do love the mirror reflection this gives the ceiling and this will add that extra touch to my guest room. I know I will receive comments below of why I didn't add any kind of bling to this fixture. Well, I did not want to take away that beautiful mirror reflection that it brings out. And always remember the DIYs that I post are just for ideas and viewing entertainment only. It's up to you to make it unique and your own. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY video as much as I enjoy making it. Now don't forget I post new DIY videos every week. Subscribe if you haven't and like and share with family and friends. Comment if you wish and click those notification bells for more upcoming future videos. See you soon.